programming, programming as a verb for thinking about what we're doing when yeah. we do non-dual yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. I find it very useful. Yeah, and I it came up in some some uh, recent discussions on some videos, or some the blog posts, uh, just about you know can we see ourselves as programs? Mm. Can you see the I as a program? Mm -hmm. Just a just a program that's been put into our big operating system 80,000 years ago or so, and it's running around doing its I thing, and you've got a bunch of programs. You know, programs that digest your food and you know wake up in the morning and do all the things you do, raise your arms. You know, that's, those programs continue to run. Mm -hmm. And the question is, well, you know, this I has been installed by the senior webmaster. Uh, evolution. Evolution, 80,000 years ago, and they put it in, mm -hmm. put this program in. And it's been running now for a while, been trying out this program. And uh, also, you know, the great senior webmaster also put in, into this program some code which would say, okay, you're in charge here. But he really wasn't. But he said, oh, you're in charge here. You can make things happen. You grow the bones. Yeah, you, grow the, you do everything. You, do everything. <laughs> you digest the food. That's right. So it, it believes this. Yeah. This eye believes this thing. But the rest of the programs just keep running. Yeah. They keep di digesting their food. They're actually totally unaware of even the bones, existence of you know, the eye. So, you know, something yeah. after it's running around saying what the things, talking a lot. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter what it yeah. says. Nobody pays yeah. attention to it anyway. Yeah. So you can just get rid of it. Like, you know, to use your analogy, 80,000 years ago, it may not have been malware. Mm. But at this point, it's malware. Mm. Right, I mean, because precisely because it thinks that it's in charge of digesting the food and right. breathing the oxygen and breathing out the carbon right. dioxide and doing everything else that we do as these remarkably complex organisms, yeah. it starts to really get in the way. It thinks it's in charge of everything, and thinking by virtue of thinking it's in charge of everything, it actually starts to crowd out some of the other processes certainly that can happen in consciousness, yeah. uh, and they create stress. You know, it creates. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of background noise that is really unnecessary. So uh, what's interesting is, is that adopting this metaphor of it as a program, and maybe it's not a metaphor actually, but no. adopting it uh, as a kind of language seems to be very effective. Yeah. In other words, that if you're practicing non-duality and you say, okay, you know, who am I, mm -hmm. right? Or, Where am I? And you say, well, look, that, that's not really making any sense to me. Like, I know full well who I am. You know, I'm Rich Doyle, or, you know, okay. when am I, you know, September 2016, you know. He's like, no, 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 I want you to find the program labeled I. You know, you're, you're doing a search. Right. You know, on the Mac, I think it's search light. Uh, you know, every, mm -hmm. every operating system has a search mm -hmm. function. Say, so like, search. I would like, you know, find program I. I. Right. And say, well, the program that is searching for the program I is I. It's like, well, look closer. No. Where is program I? Not found. No. <laughs> okay. no. Not found. Search again. No. Not found. You know, fingernail, Not check. Found. Found. <laughs> Feet, found. check. Found. Found. Respiration, check. Where is I? Not found. Right? So it's a very... Uh, useful metaphor because we can say, okay, there's nothing like mysterious here. We're just saying, look, we'll adopt this experimental point of view that the body works as a series of interacting programs. Mm -hmm. And we can see like, oh, you know, program to flex foot, you know, seems to be working. Where is the program for the eye? What is it like? Well, if, if it is, yeah. even the things, we, well, it must be the eye. I, I think this up. I, I just said this. You know, I think that. <laughs> You begin to look at these, I choose, I choose that thing. You begin to look and you say, well, is that true? You carefully begin to look and say, well, is this is the I program really generating this or is some other program generating speech? Oh, it's certainly a background program. I can't, like, <laughs> I can't activate or deactivate that background. Yeah, is there some other, some other program that thinks up thoughts? Because is the I thinking, let me watch very carefully. The I doesn't think up its thoughts. No, it doesn't just... think up what it says. It doesn't think up what it writes. Doesn't, it doesn't actually make its choices. You can watch choices being made, and the eye doesn't make them. Right. So all these things that the eye has kind of grabbed under its mantle as part of its program, it doesn't really even do. I know, it's getting credit for all, taking credit, taking credit. for all this work that it's, it's not doing. doing. In fact, that's what it is. Yeah. It's this thing that takes credit, takes credit. for everything that you're doing, Yeah. but it's not doing any of it. No, it's hard to find actually what it does do. What, what do you really have to have it around for? It must have been installed for some reason. 
you know, that you wanted to be able to have something watch over, uh -huh. but really have no power to do anything, right. and not really be doing any functions. Right. It's just some kind of a, you know, oversight watching function, which may now be very almost malware, mm -hmm. because we become so massively interconnected. We've talked about many times. You know, things have gotten very complicated. And this little tiny process with this 7 plus or minus 2 bits of data and solving one problem just can't hack today's world. But you see, Gary, it's precisely because everything is really complicated that I need to be in charge. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> because I feel out of control <laughs> yeah. when everything is really complicated. <laughs> so therefore, I'm going to double down. Double down. And be in even more control. That's right. But the control doesn't work, so then yeah. I double down some more. Yeah. And I need to engage in some practices that yeah. tell me what my identity is. Yeah. So uh, I would suggest, you know, otherwise just treat it as if it's a program. Yeah. Look for it. Yeah. You know, see if you can't live without it. Yeah. It's I mean, a, what does it, what does it do? It's really useful. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I think also what's happened is it's gotten more massively complex. It's, it's, it's started screaming louder. Oh, it you does. Know, before yeah. it was just. Now it's getting louder and louder and louder because it thinks, well, they're not listening to me. I'll just shout louder. Yeah. So it has more thoughts. Like a tourist in France. Yeah. 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 <laughs> more thoughts. They're more agitated. Yeah. They're louder. More concerned together. More energy in them. But it still doesn't happen. <laughs> no, but it's once you put it that way too, it's very interesting. Saying, okay, uh, let's do an inventory. Let's see what all the different programs that I am made up of. Mm -hmm. You know what they do. It's like I. I when I get up in the morning, I can observe, I just like watch my feet hit the ground, mm -hmm. and I can observe that there's a program that takes me into the bathroom and brushes my teeth and <laughs> shaves, <laughs> you know, gets in the shower, flosses, you know, does these things. Okay, hey, you can hang around. That program can hang around, yeah. right? I see a program that has me eat breakfast and drive my son to school mm -hmm. and go and swim laps or get on my bike. Yeah. There's all these things that are being done. Yeah. So far, the eye has not shown up at any of these no. things. I'm not sure if it's just late for work <laughs> or, <laughs> or if, in fact, if you do an inventory all day long, yeah. which is what self-inquiry can consist of, right. saying like, okay, is the eye doing anything now? Yeah, how about now? How about now? And you see that, in fact, like such a freeloader, this eye, and always up there <laughs> talking and shouting and running around, with pulling a tear out. It's extremely important. <laughs> it's very, very important. <laughs> Listen to me. But in fact, nobody listens to it. No. Functions don't care about it. Yeah, and, and you know, it's, it's like, you know, and, and, and in my mind's eye, it, the avatar that it has is like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the fake Burger King king? You know, like <laughs> this cartoon king up there that says, you know, I'm in control. You know, it's got some fake, you know, plastic yeah, scepter yeah, found yeah. in the bottom of a cereal box yeah, or yeah. something. And it's like, no. you're not doing anything here. You know, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to bother to throw you out. I'm just going to let you show yourself out. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it's very liberating to realize, like, oh, that being that I've been worried about impressing and never quite living up to and thinking was my true self and so <laughs> forth, it's like, it's, it's not actually doing anything, anything. And, and can just be, you know, gently dragged down to the trash can yeah. and uninstalled. And all of its stories going with it, and all of its attachments going yeah. with it. Yeah. Because without this, it's those stories, its attachments, it doesn't have any function at all. You can look at it, it doesn't do anything useful. Well, that's not quite, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. uh, no, but it is interesting because unlike the analogy where I can say, oh, you can just, there are some programs, for example, in Linux or Windows or Mac that are very difficult to uninstall. Yeah, right? yeah. You uninstall them and then there they are again. Right? Yeah. So each time you drag it to the trash can, right. the, re the compost, yeah. the recycling, right. you have to feel what are the attachments I have to right. that. What are the attachments that go along with the installation of that program? There's all kinds of dependencies yeah. in software terms that yeah. go along with that program. What are those dependencies? What's keeping that program up there? Yeah. So each time you drag it, each time you do a search for it and find that it's not found, right. you can feel how something is attached to that mm -hmm. and work through that attachment. Right. You know? right. So what are some of the ways that we can work through those attachments once we feel that? Mm -hmm. Well, and, and you can, you are, you, we, we have proven you can uninstall it. Yeah. I mean, you can actually not just put it on the desktop, you can actually you know, put it in the trash can. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't reemerge or only right. it's just a little thing program. Yeah. 
but it really has no energy or power. Well, it comes it. back and it wants you to click on it. Yeah, but you don't click <laughs> on it. You don't you know, click it's like malware. It says, you know, warning, you know, up, up, up pops your, your malware alert. <laughs> it says, no, do not open this, open this folder. And it's a feeling. It's interesting because you can be like, yes, oh, I feel it. I feel that. I feel, I, I see, hi, how's it going? No, thanks. Yeah. Still not going to have any. Thank you very much. Right. And it goes, right. mm. So yeah. it can be uninstalled. Oh, sure. Like, you know, uninstalling your program to digest your food, you can't do. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. No. Uh, but you, this one you can uninstall. Yeah. Which is really, you know, one of the very few you can actually go into and consciously uninstall. Oh, and it frees up all kinds of bandwidth. It does. Huge consumption. We've talked about the cognitive enhancement oh, that happens right. yeah. to the processor right. when you get rid of the eye. Yeah. Because the eye always thinks that it knows already how to solve a particular problem. <laughs> never, <laughs> never solves any. Well, it, you know, it's observed ways in which one has not died by solving a problem in a certain right, way. Right. And so it says that is That's the way the to solve the problem. Yeah. But once you drag that eye yeah. into the trash can, yeah. you start to say, oh, I guess, you know, I don't know. What is the best way to breathe? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I could explore the space of all possible right. breathing. Right. That right. occurs in meditation. Or, interesting. I can explore the space of all possible ways of being. Yeah. Just, just that I get fundamental recognition that this is one program. We do have the ability to validate or invalidate, and we can uninstall it. Mm -hmm. There's one of the very, very few we can do that with. So it must be superfluous. Can be superfluous. Yeah. It must be kind of like evolutionary add-on that you know. Happen. It's like you know how sometimes you click on something and you get this search engine that you didn't want to use. Right. Oh yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so eighty thousand years ago, we, we got the me, That's the right. search engine for Bing me. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no. No. Thank you. And it's only occurring to us now that like, hey, you know, maybe we could just <laughs> back that down to the yeah. trash can. Yeah. Make that not your default selection. And let it go. Yeah. And let it go.